All right, weather-wise out there, we know that uh, sun, the uh, sun setting a little bit uh, earlier each day as we get into the uh, colder months uh, here. And the uh, sun setting a little bit uh, earlier, but it's not going to be the shortest day of the year. So let's talk more about that, bringing in Mar Mario uh, Ruiz to talk more about the explanation behind that. Earlier sunset, but still not the shortest day yet. Right, in fact, the earliest sunset of the year happens today at 520, which puts us at a total, total of 10 hours and four minutes worth of daylight, not the shortest day. Just to give you some perspective, the latest sunset uh, happens at 839 during the summer, 14 hours, 15 minutes of daylight. So again, today we get just over 10 hours, but the shortest day doesn't happen until December 21st or the winter solstice that puts us at about nine hours, 59 minutes. And if you are already feeling blue about that, don't worry, we gain it all back by about March 1st over 11 hours, close to 11 and a half hours worth of daylight. So why is it that we do have those shorter days? Well, during the winter months, which are really we're gearing up for the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun during this orbit. Now the sun now is directly over the southern hemis hemisphere during this point, and it's slowly kind of working its way towards the Tropic of Capricorn, and that's when the winter solstice happens. When it reaches that, that'll be the shortest day of the year. Now once that happens, once we get towards the end of December, getting into early next year, we'll start to see it coming right back up as the sun starts to tilt toward, or excuse me, as the earth starts to tilt back towards the sun, for the summer months. So really, it all has to do with where we are in our orbit. At least we do get the, that sunshine back. We just have to wait a few more days, Mark. Hey, fascinating stuff. I've always wondered a better explanation. Thank you.